Welcome to Where They Wonder. We are Kat and Kev, and we travel full-time around the United States in our Grand Design Imagine. We're heading into Bryce to watch the sunrise. Should be fun. Under blue sky. Sunrise is at 7.30. It's about 7.05, and already there is a whole line of cars here. So I'm glad we got up when we did. Well, obviously, we have to get up, <laughs> otherwise you won't see the sunset. But, uh, said sunset. Oh, yeah. You have to get up that early, otherwise you won't see the sun rise. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. She's the Oh my goodness, it is cold. I'm not sure whether you can see about Kevin, Kevin's outfit. It is just above freezing. The sun came up, thank you, as it would. And uh, hopefully we've got some really great shots that we, you've just seen. And now we're off to do the car tour. Isn't that right, Kev? Huh? <laughs> we're back in the truck. It is 34 degrees outside and that's with the sun up. All right, let's go do this. Uh, let's go do this tour. Oh, cold. She's the This is our viewpoint and we were the only car here about two seconds ago when one other car just pulled up and this is why we come for a thing in the morning. Let's drive Till the moon makes way for the sun Tonight Celebrate being young Let's fly in the back seat of the car we ride Underneath. we stopped at natural bridge look at this it's incredible and the beautiful full colors that we get here oh my gosh it's so gorgeous the natural bridge is actually misnamed as a bridge it's technically an arch Natural bridges are carved by rushing streams whereas subtler forms of weather have sculpted this opening into a bridge. Rainbow Point at 9,000 something feet. About 100, I think it 9, was. 9,100. I just took a photograph of it as well. So uh, here we go, let's go. We're at the other end of the viewpoint and it is magnificent. Look at this. Kev's over there taking some pictures. Oh my goodness me. Cool. And here we are again. Me filming Kev, come filming Cat. Now you can say something on my video here. Hi. Well, as I just mentioned, we've come to this other point, and this is much more of a point. Um, over on that side, it's kind of like open, but here you are on this uh, right off. angle, this you angle can here. See what it looks like. Like this, you're on much more of a point jutting out into the canyon. 
So wow, that's a great this. picture, though. Here, let me take a it's picture incredible. of you. It's incredible. Just to the right of Rainbow Point is Yovimpa Point, or Yovimpa Point, or I don't know. Anyway, okay, <laughs> we're going to go this way and have a look. If you're enjoying this video and you are not yet one of our awesome subscribers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button so YouTube knows you're enjoying it. It is over 9,000 feet. We're on top of the world here at 9,000 feet. We're at the highest point in the park. And we went to the, uh, I guess it's an east lookout that way. And now we're on a southern lookout and man, you can see forever. There's nobody here, but at uh, Sunrise Point, there was a couple hundred people and cars and coaches. And uh, when we left the last, not this last viewpoint, the one before this, just as we were leaving, there's a bunch of people pulling in. Right. And we're gonna stop at some of those there's on the way down. There's a huge buck over there. Oh, this one was gonna excuse me. Kept the fire burning till we said goodbye. The light shines down the hallway, calling me to bed. I see how lucky I am. This is the furthest viewpoint. We decided to go to the furthest place and the closest place to begin with. The closest place first. Yes, which was Sunrise. And then we came to the furthest place, which is all the way up here at Rainbow Point. Which is Point, Rainbow, which yeah. Is, yeah. Whatever this is, Yavit. <laughs> We're not done. We've got a couple more stops to make on the way down. And get oh, some do more. We? Yeah, there's some, a couple <gasps> stops. We didn't stop at every place on the way up. But... Well, we've decided to go do a little tiny hike. We're a bit tired from that hike in Red Canyon, but we couldn't uh, let today go without doing a little hike. I think this is about half a mile. We're on the Bristlecone um, Loop Trail. We just ch chatted to a gentleman. He said he saw a whole herd of about 15 deer and the bucks were fighting, play fighting. So we're really hoping to see some more uh, deer now. So when you're out this morning, there's like, we've seen one person on this trail. And normally on trails, especially very, very easy trails like this, it's just inundated with people. So this is awesome. I do it all for the days like this. If you're planning to visit some national parks, um, I've written a blog on uh, our top tips for national parks. I'll put a link to that. Go ahead and uh, head to our website. Uh, we have lots more information there and also um, our store and lots of other things on our website. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link below. Am I dreaming? Because you're the only thought of my mind. And when I see you, This is the viewpoint now from this bristle cone hike again it's just just over half a half a mile hike not that far at all and oh my goodness I'm up so can't touch the ground I'm on this little pointy out section here okay I'm just gonna go over there I'm sure people used to go out there but now they've closed it off Guys, look at these. You see these two white boulders to the left and the right uh, and the right here, the lower ones? They've fallen from the top of this plateau. And the reason I know that is because they're white and the rest of it's pink. But you can see all of the boulders that are coming down from that. It's amazing. Look at that. Can't touch the ground if I wanted to. I wanna fly. You can find three bench marks or high three miles on trail for the dense marks. See the park map. We're at 8,960 feet, according to the USGS. These, uh, they're, they're brass, so they're rubbings, and you can uh, get them, you know, they're for kids, but anybody, really. Um, we are going to do the hoodoos, so hopefully uh, we will see the other two. 
it's the forest of the falling trees the because they the will fall. Yep, but you know what? The forest will survive. We may not see it come back, but it will. And it's a dangerous place to linger. It's okay to walk through, but you don't want to camp or linger near these no. uh, burnt trees because they tend to fall. Yep. We've heard them fall before. In the we have, haven't yeah. we? Oh, that was incredible. Where, where, was that Fish Creek? Yes. So this is where we started the loop. So we came from up there, which is at the, yeah. the parking lot, which is before you reach Rainbow Point. So we can either go back up that way, which is actually further away from the car. Yeah, so, so I think we're gonna go back up this way to Rainbow Point, but you can also go down here and do the Under the Rim Trail. The Under the Rim Trail is eight miles. Oh, and then you've got to do the, tw the two miles back to your car, I suppose, so 10 miles. Sea or dark forest. Most trees at this elevation are white fir and Douglas fir. Sometimes you are a desert, a barren, dusty dream. And I'm a nomad lost, chasing your mirage through the wind and through the heat. Looking back to the young years, it must have been late midnight. I saw the colors move. Me and you, it was clear than a lightning strike. It's packed now. It is uh, 10.30. This is the busiest time to ever be in a national park. So we are heading out to breakfast. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed this driving tour in Bryce Canyon National Park, where we took you to the highest point in the park. Join us next week as we hike down to the floor of the canyon and hike the hoodoos. Some far off distant land, and I'm a tourist. Until then, we'll see you on the trail. Never understand, but I think of when the clouds turned, they tried to tear us apart.